Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stevens Coder's online version. We will be learning about the BBC Microbit, and I hope you have a great time learning this. It's been fun for me to work with an online component in trying to teach you how to manipulate your Microbit. You should have received in a baggie um, the Microbit kit. You'll have Play-Doh, and then there will be these alligator clips and some wire. So those items won't be needed until the last class, but today we will explore with our new micro bit and just keep it in the package for right now. But, um, and then I'll have you walk, I'll walk you through getting it out later. So we have a couple of options for class. You can do a split screen where you see what I'm presenting and then the website that you'll be working on on one screen, or you can um, do two monitors. If you have two monitors at home, you can have my presentation on one monitor and then the website that we will be manipulating on the other monitor, or um, just whatever works best for you at home. Uh, so one of the things that I want you to remember is that um, when I say home screen, that means that I need you to get off the website page and come back to my presentation page so that you can see what is being done and then you can go back and forth or you can pause what I'm um, teaching and continue to manipulate on the website. There's a lot of variation for you and you can pause and go back and listen to what I have to say again. Um, again, it'll just be a lot of fun to just kind of explore this kind of a platform for us to learn with. So first of all, um, I, I too am learning this platform and uh, learning how to share screens and everything like that. So I'm going to do a few basics about uh, what a micro bit is and then we'll just get started into coding. So if we have microwaves, we have cars, and there are missiles, you know, and those things have something in common. And those things that have, that they have in common is called a microcontroller. So a microcontroller is like a little brain. And it goes into a lot of everyday ordinary electronics. Um, it's like a small chip that allows other electronics to communicate with others. It's small and portable and it can hold just a little bit of memory, you know. So here is um, a little micro bit. And inside this micro bit, it is a micro, control micro controller, which essentially makes this a tiny computer. So micro bits were invented in the United Kingdom where the queen herself has signed off on them and they've been given to all the English English kids at school to learn how to program. And now they're here in the United States. So real quick, I'm gonna show you a quick little video about what micro bits can do. So let me share my screen. And let me bring this down to you. So hopefully I can manipulate this so it will work well. Oh no, I just lost the, the video that I was going to show you. So, see, even I'm just learning how to do all these things as well. We're going to stop the share. Okay, everybody, I think I figured it out. So here we go. So I'm going to, let's share it. Share. Okay, and here we go. The micro bit is a pocket sized computer that lets you get creative with digital technology. You can code, customize, and control your micro bit from anywhere. Light up the LED display to create something simple in minutes or even communicate between microbits. Or get really creative with microbits more advanced features like its buttons, motion detector, compass, and sensors. 
You could create a guitar that changes the volume the more you shake it. A flick football game that powers a microbit scoreboard. And you can connect it to other devices, sensors, and everyday objects. So you could water your thirsty plants, or use Bluetooth to take photos with your phone, and control your music player. And you can customize the micro bit in any way you can imagine. It's really anything you want it to be. I think it's a bit like a robot. It's quite different to any other technology I've sort of used before. You just have fun with it. I can control my tablet. You can make games, you can take pictures, kind of something that senses movement. And you can just place it in your pocket and make whatever you want. We'll describe it as a future. Hello there, my name's Gary. Oops. Hi, Gary. All right. So... What I want you to do is open up a new tab on your computer, like this, and you're going to type in the address bar makecode.microbit.org. So makecode, M-A-K-E-C-O-D-E dot microbit, M I. C R O B I T dot org and press enter. And you should come up with the home screen like this. If it doesn't look like this, find the home button and click home, and it'll bring you up to a part where it says my projects, new projects like that. So be sure to click on new projects and this will take us to our micro bit editor page awesome so here's an overview of the interface on the right side of the screen here is where we will be putting our code the type of blocks that give instructions are called event blocks and they can be stacked and have directions or instructions placed inside of them. And in the middle of the screen is our menu. We will find any directions we want to add to our programming here, and we'll learn more specifics about this menu as we go through this class. On the left side of the screen is our simulator. As you can see, this is a picture of a micro bit. It will run your code exactly the way a real micro bit will run it. This is a great place for us to test our code before we download it. So this web page and screen that we click and drag our blocks to, this is called a graphic, graphical user interface or GUI, which is called a GUI. A GUI allows us to use an image. And here we use blocks to code instead of writing it all out in a programming language. We are actually programming in JavaScript while using our micro bit. But instead of writing out the language, we are going to use the blocks to write for us. A GUI is much easier to use for us beginners and much more user friendly. But if you want to see what your code actually looks like in JavaScript, you can click on the toggle button at the top of the page once we get programming and it will show you what the language looks like. Does that look familiar? Especially if you did the Blobbert class with us. So now we're going to learn the basics of using the block code on our interface. So what does this block do? On start block tells the micro bit to run the code inside this block as soon as the micro bit is turned on. An example that we see of this on start command is when a computer makes a sound when you press the button to turn it on. This is the first code that will run once the device is turned on. Now, any block that has an opening in the middle is called an event block. 
it allows us to put directions inside of the event to create instructions. If you ever put a code block in an area that won't work, it will look yellow. Instruction blocks must be inside event blocks. So what is a forever block? This blocks makes something called a forever loop. This is basically a way to torture your device as it will loop the code forever and ever and ever and ever until the micro bit turns off or you tell it to stop with the code. These two blocks automatically populate in the GUI and may or may not be used in your code. So for our first activity, we are going to make an animation on our micro bit. Animation is making something move or change or having it cycle automatically. So the first thing we are going to do for our animation is we are going to make a heartbeat. <clears throat> we will use our forever loop for an animation because we want it to repeat our heartbeat over and over. So let's begin. First, you will come over here to the middle menu and click on basic. Basic now has an additional menu of things that we can choose within the basic. Find, you'll see that it says show number, show LEDs, show icon, show string, hello, forever, pause for a millisecond, and on start. We're going to click on show icon. Notice that it's when I click on it in the GUI, it turns yellow. So there's a little heart in the drop down menu here. And this is what our icon will look like on our micro bit. If you do the next drop down menu like this, you'll see that there are many different kinds of pictures. But for right now, please just select the big heart. So now you're going to drag and drop the show icon into the block, the forever block on the right side of the screen. Now look at the left side of our, <clears throat> the screen at our simulator. This shows what it will look like when downloaded onto the micro bit. So now we're going to animate our heart and make it beat. To make the heart animated, we need to change the second icon to a different picture. So we're going to click on basic, again to the show icon, and then drag this below the first show icon. Now we're going to select a different picture. Select from the drop down menu the small heart. Now look at your micro bit. Now it looks like it's blinking from the big heart to the little heart, from icon to icon, which creates the animation. Now click the down arrow on your second show icon and click the, oh, we already did that. Click the little heart and there it is beating. So now you can mess around with this part for a little bit if you choose. Um, you can place the show icon wherever you want inside of the forever loop. You could do basic show LEDs. And you could even draw your own picture to animate and put it in, drag it under the next one, and then it will show what it's doing. You can also do a right click and you can delete the block to remove it or in order to delete a block, you can click on it, click on the block, and drag it over to the middle menu, and it will put it in the trash that way. So you can pause this video uh, to mess with this a little bit, but we're going to continue on. 
Because we've learned some of the basic skills for block coding, now we're going to learn about using the physical micro bit with our code. So do you happen to know the proper vocabulary term for a button you press on a video game? Or how about when you click on a mouse on a computer? So I'm going to ask you to come back to the home base to the home screen and now you can see me. So both of those um, buttons are called inputs. Any feedback a program takes from a user is called an input. Buttons on computer or video games, remote control buttons, keyboards, zoom, and swiping on a phone are all examples of inputs. Well, micro bits also have inputs. So I'm going to show you the parts of the micro bit right here. So when we look at this, hopefully I can, it's, a, it's backwards for you, but I'm, it, that's okay. So I'm going to show you real quick that these buttons right here, this is the A button, and this button right here is the B button. And then we have power ports here. And then right here we have an input and output rings. Power port ports right here, or they could be power ports right here. And then input. That's what these are. Zero, one, two, three are in port. Input and output rings. And then this is the power port. Now this can provide power or take power from external devices. Okay. Now when we flip to the other side, we have right here the USB connector. This is where you'll connect with the USB. And right here we have a hard set, hard reset button. And then we have a Bluetooth antenna, which is right here. And then this is where your battery pack will be um, plugged in as well. And then over here, you'll see the small words. Over here, it talks about the compass. It detects magnetic fields and direction. And then we have an acceler accelerometer, which detects velocity and motion, like shaking, orientation, and free falling. Okay. So we use our block code to tell the micro bit what to do when it receives input from the user. So we're going to go back to our website. So let's go back to share screen. And I want you to look at your, your website now. And we are going to click on the input in the middle of this section of the screen. And so this is the part we're going to talk about with the input with A and B button or the input circles. Each of these options gives commands to the micro bit when that input is received. So for example, you have on button A, when it's pressed, this tells the micro bit to do an action when the A, B, or both buttons are pushed. On shake button, that means you shake or logo up. For example, shake, logo up, logo down, screen up, screen down, tilt left, tilt right, free fall, 3G, 6G, and 8G. So <clears throat> these are simple movements that are easy to use, but when using the free fall option, don't throw or drop your micro bit from high places as it will definitely break. It may be best to choose another option for the safety of your device. The bottom three options, 3G, 6G, and 8G, are made to detect G-force, which is a unit of force equal to the force exerted by gravity. And although this input is handy for other activities, these inputs will not be used during this lesson. So put the on start in the trash right here. On start, drag it to the trash. And then let's make sure you've clicked on input 
and you have on shake. And put that, make sure that's in the GUI. So now click on basic and click show string. Drag this block into your on shake. So I have two on shakes here. I'm gonna delete one of them. And we're going to um, change the text of hello to spell your name. So now look at the micro bit simulator now and you'll notice it has a shake button over here in the top right corner. This is the input to make the code run. If you downloaded this program onto a micro bit, you would actually shake it and the code would run. Click shake and watch your words appear. Click in the circle. Oh, see there's mine, Mrs. Stevens. Okay. All right, let's go to home base, please. Hi. <laughs> now that we've practiced creating code and programming on the GUI system, we will put our code onto the micro bit. So this process must be followed exactly. And any missteps can create problems in your download and then you might get a little frustrated, but if you need parent help, that you can pause it after I've explained what you need to do, okay? You're gonna go to the bottom of the screen where it says untitled. Okay, so you're gonna go back to your website screen. So I'm gonna go back to the website. And do you see where it says untitled down here at the bottom right next to the big download button? We're going to type in a descriptive name. So I highlighted this so it won't have the uh, word untitled anymore. And include your first name. For example, I'm going to say Mrs. S. Stevens Heart Animation. You can name it just your name and heart, or heart move, or heart beat, whatever you choose. Then click on the save button. Okay. Now my computer automatically downloaded the, the micro bit thing. But if yours did not, and we're not sure, just click press download next to the title of your code. And then you'll see that this download to your micro bit. So now we need to connect the micro bit to your computer with a USB cable. Okay, so here we go. Um, we're gonna do that in just a second, actually. Um, I'm gonna walk you through finding the folder that should have come up. So at the bottom of the screen, there was a pop-up down here. Okay, so you can see I have a whole bunch popped up because I have been practicing. And you're going to click on the arrow. I gotta move my talking icon here. So you're gonna click on the arrow there and not on the name. And if you have a Mac system, which I do, you're gonna click on show or, or actually in any Windows, or Chromebook system, you're gonna click on show in folder. And you'll notice that it comes up with a micro bit Mrs. Stevens with a one and then micro bit Mrs. Stevens with not a one because remember it had automatically downloaded on my computer. And so next time I really don't need to click the download button because it automatically did. So if your computer did the same thing, don't automatically don't click download automatically. Just look to see if your computer did it already. Okay, so you're gonna keep this screen up. Don't click on anything quite yet because now I need you to come to the home screen or I'm gonna stop the share so that you can watch what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so you're gonna get, get out your micro bit. Okay, and we're gonna, I'm gonna walk you through plugging it in to your computer now. You have a kit that had this, and I've already put my batteries in. Here's the deal. You do not put the bat plug in the batteries 
and then plug in this and put it into your computer at the same time because it'll fry your micro bit and then it won't work anymore. So it's either you use this or you use this connector. Well, in order to download what we just coded, I need to um, connect it to the computer. So we're only going to use this connector right now. So you'll see that there's this silver connection right there for your USB port. This is the other end that I'm gonna put it in. So you're gonna plug it in together. And don't be afraid to use a little bit of force on it, okay? And now I'm gonna plug this end into the computer and you'll see, if I can show you, there will be a yellow light flashing, you can't see it. But there's a yellow light on one side and it's solid. And then on the other side of the micro bit is some already um, pre-programmed things on the micro bit that will be flashing on the red LED side. Okay, so once you have that plugged into your computer, now we can go and download um, what we just coded onto our micro bit. Okay, so keep watching. Let me share the screen with you again of what what now I need to do. So now I'm going to click on my micro bit file and I can do either one, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna drag it into this micro bit location right here and let go. So now I've dragged it in there and my yellow light on the back of my micro bit is blinking while it's downloading. And I just got a signal from my computer that it was done downloading. Then, in order to uh, uh, um, remove my, my micro bit from my computer, I must eject it correctly. So I have to click this button right here to eject. And now I can remove my micro bit from my computer and now it doesn't work anymore. So I take this off for now and I'm going to add my battery pack to it. And then I'm gonna, so I'm gonna connect my battery pack. And you can see that I have programmed my heartbeat, okay? Now, do you remember what we coded in order to see my name? It's not, it's not pressing a button, A or B, because I tried that. Remember we said on shake. So I'm gonna shake it. Maybe I need to shake it and do, or maybe I need to re-download. Maybe it didn't download the right thing. Oh, there it goes. So I have to press that. Oh, see this? That's where it needed to shake. Okay. All right. So now that you see what is happening, you can do some more types of coding with the block coding and then download it onto your micro bit and just have fun with it. Do different pictures, do different texts, and then go around and share with your family, your friends, the things that you've been coding on your micro bit. So this is the first um, end of the first lesson. And I hope you had a great time learning how to code your micro bit. You'll notice that there are things on the website that you could probably um, start exploring with. Do it. Explore the, with the website. Figure out what you can already do. There are some lessons that will be a repeat of that what I will be presenting um, that are on the website. But just know that this is all you. And you can have fun with it. You can stop doing what you want to do. Stop doing any activities and leave it at this. But for right now, I'm gonna um, unplug it because I don't wanna really waste my batteries. And I'm going to, um, let's go back to the um, website. And I want to show you how um, we're going to exit. So I'm gonna go home and I wanna show you that right here on the website, it shows that Mrs. Stevens' heart animation is right there. It shows that I did that seven minutes ago. So if you look here, see there's a name tag one, that's gonna be our next lesson is the name tag. 
but there are things things on here see like live coding name tag smiley buttons dice love meter and stuff like that and there are games coin flipper if you don't want to work through these on your own i'm going to be definitely working at working through the name tag one for us and so on so um coders i hope you have a great time enjoy your time at home explore and let me know how things go. Have a great day. I'll see you later. See you next time. Bye.